And the reason I have it in mind is because I've been interviewing people, uh, experts outside of Canada who are specializing in that and companies that are, for example, uh, even in the United States where they're using American made solar panels and batteries, which are way more expensive than China and still cheaper than, than gas or, or nuclear or, or you know whatever. And what they're saying is it, the, the cost of the technology now is not as big, it's not an issue. It's the integration. That's, yeah, that's the really key. And you, I, sounds like you would agree. I would very much agree. So Kenria has been a long time proponent of including uh, grid integration technology in the uh, investment tax credits. Now, obviously the budget document, even though it is over 400 pages long, is still high level. We're going to need to see the final text of the Ways and Means motion, as well as the Budget Implementation Act, to really get into those nitty gritty details and what's included and what's not included. But that is something we have been advocating for for several years is that those, to use a very high level turn, and I'm sorry to all the engineers watching and my colleagues specifically, the two way line capability to be able to feed in and out, to really enable those distributed energy resources to talk to each other and to engage in a meaningful way with the rest of the grid. It's going to be incredibly important.